We've followed over 180,000 people aged 45 and over in Australia and we looked at the outcomes for people who were smokers compared to people who had never smoked and people who'd smoked in the past. And we were looking particularly at cardiovascular disease, not just whether or not someone had cardiovascular disease, whether they had a heart attack or a stroke, but what particular kind of cardiovascular disease they had. And what we found was really chilling. We found that looking across all the different types of cardiovascular disease, and we examined more than 36 different types, there was nowhere in the cardiovascular system that was untouched by smoking. What we did really see was a much greater depth of harm than we had considered. And we've worked out that over 6,000 deaths from cardiovascular disease in Australia every year are attributable to smoking. That's 17 completely preventable deaths every single day. What we find from these data is that even people smoking five cigarettes a day have a doubling in the risk of dying from cardiovascular disease. So what that tells us is that there's really nowhere to hide. We're not, we're not talking about cutting down. There's really no safe number of cigarettes now. And that it's really important that if people are smoking that they actually give up completely. What we're seeing is if you compare people who've never smoked with current smokers, the relative risk of AMI is 2.45. And when we look at stroke, it's over two. Um, peripheral vascular disease is about five. This is the largest and most comprehensive study of cardiovascular disease ever done worldwide. And I think what we can now safely say is we have really robust information about what smoking does to Australian smokers. And I think a lot of people are, are kind of underestimating the harms it's, it's doing them, and particularly people who smoke relatively few cigarettes a day. There was good news, and that was among people who quit, uh, they had a much lower risk of cardiovascular disease than people who kept on smoking. And the earlier the better. So people who quit before the age of 45 had 90% lower risk of cardiovascular disease than people who had continued to smoke. So that's great news.